still pretty dark, too dark to see. There's a deer there and then there's another deer up in, up in there somewhere, can't see him now. Right, well, the time's come to come back and chase a few velvet bucks. Um, I've seen a couple walking in this morning, just on the light, and then got about half a dozen bucks spotted out, right out over on the back side of this ridge up here. There's a couple in them there that, oh, it's hard to tell from back here, but one definitely doesn't look too bad. There's maybe two there. But not monsters. I've seen a cracker in here last year, but whether he's made it through, I don't know. So, instead of cutting just straight over to these, given it's the first morning, I'll probably keep working my way around this gully here. Yeah, see so what else I can turn up and make my way around to where they are. There's a shitload of roos in here again this year. So. I don't know how I'm going to go, but anyway, good to see if you're still in here. So. Fetch a plan, they're sort of feeding back this way, but they'll get in on this ridge here, I'd say, and bed up. She's pretty thick in there, so once they're in there, they're pretty much a ride off normally, so we'll see what the morning brings. Oh, way up. Found another mob of bucks up here. It's a bit hard to tell. I caught a glimpse of one. That one up the top, you can't tell here. I'm too far away. One up the top's not too bad, but it'll look like a good one walked in behind that little round bush there. That tree. So make my way around and try and get a better look at them. Right, I, well, I reckon the roos obviously spooked them deer. Just after I videoed them, they all run. Run back down in towards this gully. There's two more velvet bucks just on this ridge here. They're still feeding. I don't know, I don't know, it's hard to... Well, they weren't overly spooked, but something that put the wind up in the beds. Hopefully they just pushed into this gully around here. Right, I'll come down, come around the back of where these deer sort of run over to. Well, they might have made their way into this gully. Which they could, I can't really see in there probably, but there's still heaps of roos sitting around here. So I don't reckon they've bolted through here at all. They could be still up on top with these couple of velvet ones I've seen, maybe. Your sticks cracking up there. They could be still up here, hopefully. <clears throat> well, no luck with them. I never even. Dunno, there was two more other just feed near, I don't know, I didn't even see them or hear them run off or anything. <clears throat> like I say, all the roos and shit in that gully over there are all still sitting there. Not spooks. So. This is where they run, they're up here, they run through there. Whether or not they were up on top of them other two and I've walked past them. Or they just sort of took it slow. Once they got over the top there not to spook anything, I'm guessing. Like, I would have thought most of them roos would have took off with them if they'd have went tearing over that edge, but anyhow. I'd say she's that thick down in there, it's bloody. Every chance they're down in there, I just couldn't see them, so. Make my way around to where I could see this first mob and check another gully a bit further over. Yeah, running out of time here a bit. The sun's starting to get fairly well up there. I was just sitting there watching that, that deer, that young deer that's down there. He's been jumping around. I gathered there must have been another deer there. Looks like a handy boar actually that he's sitting there fucking about with. So I wasn't going to go down there for the deer, but I might go down there and crack at that pig. I'll try and get a better look at him. I don't know. There was bed last night. Make a bit of move, I've seen a fair few deer on the way in, not a lot, but I did see one pretty good velvet fella. That's that spot where I was in the driving light, so. Hopefully, he was a long way away, I'm not going to see him today. Yeah, hopefully i find something in here, I'm not too fussy, eh? Definitely not one. Anything to eat, I'll do for a start, and then yeah, hopefully. Hopefully we can run into a big fella in here somewhere.
Bye, Barking. Those snakeys I thought I was buying. Barking up in here somewhere. Not much cover here, but we'll give it a go. But uh, just watch that deer. Went to a patch of longer grass in the trees up there, so haven't seen it come out, but I'm just gonna leave it. Go for a quick walk up here and then should be right there for an hour or so. I'd, I thought the shot, oh, I think the shot was back a touch, she jumped there, but it's not too bad. I could see it through the knockies while she's trotting off there. Done. Yeah, you know, hopefully track down a buck here somewhere. Will be the plan. Right, right, well, back at camp. We go find this deer I shot this morning. Yeah, that was a pretty quiet morning, I can tell you. Ended up seeing two velvet bucks all the way out in the mountains out here in the neighbours. Nothing over here, seen a few does. Not a lot, but as you Right, uh, here's that little female I shot. Brought her down here so I can clean her up near the water. Yeah, she should be pretty good chewing, hopefully. Well, we're back on another overcast morning. I've got the day off work because I reckon she's going to rain, but we didn't end up getting too much. But Cruise back down and have another look for a buck. It's making me way up to her seen big fella the other night when I was driving in camp and just spotted some mob of bucks here in the backside of this ridge here. I don't know, we can, we can see four. Um, there's one real big split up fella there. So. The ones I can see, I can see two others and they're sitting there thrashing the grass. I know it sounds early, but they must be starting to knock a bit of velvet off, so... The two thrashing the grass aren't monsters, but they're... They've got enough length to them, so. Anyway, I'll get up here. I won't waste too much time on them. Looks like I can get a shot, I'll have a shot. Otherwise, I'll push over this other fella as soon as over in the next gully. Nothing saying he's not up here somewhere either.
just went down. He's just in there. He hasn't gone anywhere really. There was a bit bigger one there. There he has that chalky one. It's pretty keen just to nail another one for meat. So. 20 yards, I couldn't say no really. There's no, definitely no monsters in them. Good way to start. Right, uh, well, I was down over in here. This ridge here and spotted these deer feeding up through this gully. So. Cut around the back side. Come up and I shot this fella. Just looking for me arrow. But he was only standing. Standing just here somewhere. Yeah, and I was only just there. Like, wasn't far away. 12 metres, 15 metres shots. So he's only gone. It's lame to see. So I'm only cutting. The big fella I seen was over in this next gully. I'm going to cut over there and see if I can't get eyes on him. And yeah, it's a pretty good overcast morning. So I might um, just bleed out, mate. Yeah, a little bit of blood run out of him. Knock the guts out of him and then I can. I can pretty much drive to the bottom of any of here, so it's not going to be too hard to get out of here. So there was a bit bigger, real split up fella in him. But, um, yeah, he must have been further over. Six one half done the other, it's not like I was going to go and get our mate all treated up. Keep his head, so. That young buck there fitted the bill properly. Good stuff. Well, this is where that other buck, I spotted him the other night out over here. Looks like they've been in there and worked that country up down the bottom for oats. So. I can see one deer on the other side, but that's it. We're inside that, there's a shitload of locked up country in there. Both locked up, there's two or three paddocks back that way locked up. This paddock here where I shot that last buck, it's locked up. One over here is locked up, so... Who knows what way he could have went, or whether I just fluked even seeing him there where I did. Just want to get way up on the tops, I suppose, and hopefully pick him up somewhere. Maybe. He's a long way out, but there's a pretty handy buck up. Sort of in that paddock where I just shot that last one, so. I'll make my way around the tops. Keep looking and um, hopefully get a bit better look at this fella. Alright, I see that buck is out over. He's right out on this ridge here. He's not a bad deer, eh? I've just got nothing with me to sort of get any decent video of him. Um, he's not the one I was looking for, but I'll probably cut around wide and I can see down that gully, and I reckon they run out of like, trees to bed under. They've got two or three trees left in that little ridge there on the bed under. Otherwise I reckon they're going to drop over that ridge way I'm heading anyway, so if I get my ass into gear there I might be able to get in front of him and maybe get a bit better look at him. And from here, like I don't know how far away he'd be, 500 yards probably, a bit better. He looks a treat, just for the naked eye, but they always look a little bit bigger in velvet obviously. And anyway. Make my way up here and see if we can get a bit closer. Well, I'm probably sitting about 250 yards off that buck now. To be honest, he's in a pretty good spot. Like he's, can't really tell, but he's right in this little hollow. You got this last little bunch of trees to bed. And I reckon he'll probably come over and down into there. But they seem pretty content the way they're feeding around, just circling around there. 
given that it's getting later in the morning, there's a pretty good chance they are going to bed in there. So I had a pretty good chance of getting over and in the sort of 60 or 70 there, I reckon. I'm just waiting her out. But yeah, it's just hard to tell. He's definitely got one real good side, but one of them's a bit stuffed up, eh? But I don't know. I don't know whether to put a bit of time in on him or just keep looking down here and hoping to run into another one. Might make me way around. I'll make me way around close and have, try and get him sort of within a hundred and have a good look at him and make a decision from there. That buck's got it right in my them rooms, as usual. Haven't seen anything. Yeah, they up here. Keep working your way around. Hopefully they just top down. Don't worry him too much. They won't though. About 80 yards off him there now. I don't know what to do, eh? I think he's going to get the pass, to be honest. Not a bad deal. I don't know. I don't know what to do. No, I don't know. Well, I'll give that buck the pass. Still just over here. I don't know, he's not spectacular, he's not bad. Look. I don't think he's worth all the mucking around to get taxi to them now in velvet. So I might as well leave him be. Uh, let's keep checking. Did pick a few deer up in the knockers down in here, not a lot. But yeah, it's generally not too bad of an area when they're growing out. So this paddock here is locked up, but it hasn't been that long since I pulled the stock out of it or anything so sometimes that's a good thing you get a bit of a sweet pick in there notice there seems to be a lot more roos sitting over in there so maybe there is a bit of a sweeter pick in there since the cows have been pulled out so we'll get up there and have a look anyway well I'm gonna cut it short it looks like the sun's about to roll back out so where that buck was he'd be laying straight in full sun there I think so I'll go back and Get him sorted out. Yeah, come back on the way. I've only got bloody two hours of waiting on some veins to turn up. So I don't know how we end out. I'll get on the weekend. I might even bite the bullet and go for a walk with a rifle, actually. Whether or not I do, I'll see what's doing and yeah, go from there. Go track this buck down. Buck, he took a bit of a tumble down the hill after I'd seen him last. Didn't find him there for a bit. He rolled down the hill about 50 yards. Gonna be the exit there. God, he's fat as a fool. Be some good chewing. Probably worked out for the best actually that he's rolled down. Yeah, but definitely. Probably. Still a little bit soft on the tips. I could see one up there. Um, thrashing shit out of the grass. Only another one about the same size as this fella. But he's only soft, bloody. That last little bit. Good stuff. Plenty of tucker on him. I reckon it's the best time to get him to eat, eh? But while they're in velvet. So. Pretty little fella. Good stuff. Get to work and yeah, I should be able to drive. There's a dam just down in here. Drive right to that dam. I reckon I'll be able to poke up through this grass here a bit. <coughs> Probably bounce over a bit of shit. Save walking him out of here. I've only got a little backpack, so I can't load too much of him on. Thought it was gonna climb up, but she's looking pretty black out back over the back here again. <sighs> anyway, I don't want to lose all the meat off this follows. Let the fun begin. <laughs> 